I had a hard time trying to cut out the backbone of a chicken using my Wustoff kitchen shears, so I looked online for vintage poultry shears. I chose a $26 stag handle set that I believe is made in Germany, since it says Verkromt on it. Verkromt is German for chrome-plated. From reading eBay descriptions, I estimate it was made sometime between 1930 to 1970. The cost for a vintage one will range between $10 to $60. But if you want to buy one of these brand new, it'll cost $200 and ships from Germany. The main flaw I've seen from these types of shears is rust. Water can easily get trapped within the spring, behind the safety lock, and between the blades. My shears looked like this before I cleaned some rust off camera. Here is how creaky it is due to the rust. To clean the spring, I removed the screw on the safety lock. I also removed the nut, thinking maybe I could sharpen the blades, but I couldn't pull them apart no matter how hard I tried. I decided it'd be smarter to use them first before attempting to sharpen them. To remove the spring, all you need to do is open up the shears. But they were stuck, so I oiled the spring up with Bow Shield T9. This is a bike lubricant that cleans away rust and prevents it. The spring came out easily after that. <laughs> This is how the rust looks like on the spring and spring nubs. If you ever own a pair of shears like these, don't close them when they're still wet and oil up the spring to protect it from water. In one of my unfinished projects for YouTube, I did some at-home experiments on rust. I found that all acids work at eating away at rust, but they can also eat away at metal. So instead of making an acid bath to dump in my shears and possibly ruin the finish on them, I made an acidic paste that consists of ketchup and citric acid. I used a paintbrush to put a thick layer of paste on the rusty parts of the shears and then waited one hour. To make sure the acid wouldn't continue to eat away at the metal, I neutralized it with a baking soda wash and then scrubbed away the rust with my brush. After a soapy wash, I made sure all the water had evaporated by giving it a quick dry with my blow dryer. Then I removed any remaining rust with some steel wool. To prevent future rust, I used bow shield on the spring and the spring nubs. Bow shield is probably not food safe, but I figured that this area wouldn't come in contact with the chicken. The food safe oil I did have on hand is this cutting board conditioner, which is made of beeswax, caranuba wax, and mineral oil. So I used that on the blades, and after two hours, I wiped everything off. After all that, the rust was gone and my spring no longer creaked. Now, time to test my Wustoff pull-apart kitchen shears against these vintage poultry shears. We're gonna try these out on this chicken I bought. I watched several videos on how to cut up a chicken. I'm gonna try to do most of my cuts with the poultry shears just to see how they work out, but generally, you'd wanna use a knife or a cleaver to do most of your cuts. Ready? Yep. Yeah. I would have had this part of the video be my live commentary, but someone kept making the chicken talk. That's weird. Okay. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> the chicken. So I first tackled the wings using the Wustoff shears. I cut around the ball joint and the wing came off easily. Hi. Yeah, got one. Yeah. I then used my vintage shears. <laughs> These felt much more awkward to use compared to the Wustoff shears. When my shears are fully open, the handles are so far apart, it's difficult for me to close them. My hands are just too small. I compared the length of my hand to my husband's, and mine are an inch shorter than his. I got a knuckle, a knuckle more. He was able to handle the shears with no issues. It's for a man! Boo. For me to get a good grip on them, I had to place the crook of my thumb and one finger above the handle. This allows me to open and close them without having to readjust my grip. It's important to note here that poultry shears are specialized clippers designed to cut through bird bones. This rang true when I tried to remove the wing. I, I thought? Oh, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> hey, it's cutting through the bone just fine. FYI, this cut I made was not clean and I ended up with some bone fragments in my stew. So if this happens to you, make sure to rinse off the bone shards. Look at that. I really want to be just left alone, said the chicken. Yeah. The next step was to remove the chicken legs. Cut through fat line. Cutting through the skin with my Wustoff shears was easy. But with my vintage shears, what seemed like a simple cut was difficult to do. <laughs> 
It would probably do better if I had sharpened them. Then I popped out the leg joints. <laughs> yeah, I did it. And got to work cutting off the leg using the Wusthof shears. I was trying to keep the oyster attached to the thigh, but I didn't even know what I was looking for, so I gave up and just cut it off. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Did I do it right? What's all this extra stuff? What's this thing? Cutting the thigh from the drumstick is really easy with a knife, but not so easy with shears. I would personally like to do this with a knife. Yeah. I like using knives. I feel weird with you using scissors. Finally, I gave up on the shears and used my boning knife. No, nope. resorting to knife. I think since my first cut was in the wrong place that even my knife wouldn't work. Okay, time to take out the meat cleaver. Watch out. That's how my mom does. Yep, look, I got some of the bone. Boo. For the second leg, I had to use the Wusthof shears to cut through the skin, but try to use my vintage shears for the rest of the cuts. Eventually, like the first leg, I resorted to using my knife. Then, I tried separating the thigh using my vintage shears. And my scissors doesn't like that. Let me try the boating knife. Oh my god, with the boating knife, so easy. Time to cut out the backbone with the Wusthof shears. Oh, we're gonna cut through the fat line, which is right here. FYI, this was the only time where it is recommended to use shears. And here, just cutting through the ribs, which was really easy. Next was the poultry shears, which cut through the ribs like butter, but struggled again with the skin. I would say cutting through a bone on this is great. Look, just simple. Well, it was simple to there, now that skin again. Then I pulled off the backbone. Yeah. Okay, ooh, there we go. And since one piece was still stuck, I took advantage of the bone notch, which is the semicircle that's cut out of the blade. If you place the bone inside the notch, it'll keep the bone from sliding out, making it easier to cut. cut oh yeah, nice. that was pretty good. Most videos tell you to use the backbone for stock, then throw out the backbone. But I grew up eating meat off the backbone, so I throw it out. So here I am, seeing if I can cut the backbone into smaller pieces for cooking. I tried using the Wusthof shears, but it doesn't open up enough to get a good grip on that thick backbone. Then I tried the same cut with the poultry shears. If I can get that part in the bone notch. Let's send this. Look at that, Ollie. <laughs> Yeah, look, it just cuts through it. Ah. They did well, just my grip was weird because I had to keep them fully open, which my small hands did not like. I don't recommend holding them like this. Whoopsie, that's why I shouldn't use those like that. So I used my cleaver for the last backbone cut. Cleaver time. Oh yeah, that's nice. I also used the cleaver to cut the bone between the chicken breast. To make it easier to... Break the bone. I try to use the Wusthof shears to separate the breast, but... But right when it gets to bone, it like fails. I used the poultry shears next, but I had a hard time gripping them, especially since my hands were slimy from touching the chicken. It cuts through bone really good. But when I try to go, when I try to squeeze from up here, it, my hand slides. So I used a napkin to get some friction on the handles and that did the trick. Two bone in breast. Mmm, yummy. I just want to eat it. You just want to eat it? Here's all my chicken. If I were to do this again, I would use a combination of boning knife, butcher knife, and my poultry shears. Because you really don't need the Wusthof shears for cutting skin when you have a nice boning knife around. This was great, probably great for when I need a spatchcock of chicken. These are just kind of awkward, but they do great with cutting bone. We're going to make some... Caldereta, chicken caldereta. It wanted two pounds of chicken pieces. So what I have here are drumsticks, wings, and backbone. So you can cook with the backbone. It's just bony. Oh, look at that chicken. Aveline, you want to try? What do you think? Yay! Hi, I'm in the video. Oh. The paper clip. Thank you. Say hi. Hi. We're gonna cover our egg in the kitchen. Hi, hi, over here. What are you doing to me? That feels weird. I am a chicken. Why can't I see? Body. Oh, that's Cut. weird. Okay. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> I can't flap anymore. I would say. Now I can just walk. What's my way to make it wet? You're dead? What? I'm dead? <laughs> you are pretty cold. I'm cold? Oh. Someone's squishing my back. My, my neck is special. I can't breathe if you cut off my neck. 
and I see a ball joint. Oh, that's hot! Stop doing that! <laughs> Vitamix! Vitamix! This is so Vitamix! Yeah, about dead now. <laughs> I can start talk! Says the chicken. I